Going calls this evening for Joe Biden to address an accusation from a former Senate staffer who says he sexually assaulted her 27 years ago. We get more now from Andrea Mitchell and a word of caution. Some of the details in the story are graphic. Joe Biden facing mounting pressure to speak out about an accusation. He sexually assaulted a Senate staffer in 1993. Former Senate aide Tara Reid says then Senator Biden pinned her against a wall and assaulted her in a corridor. She started telling her story in March to news outlets, including Democracy Now. I remember his hands underneath my blouse and underneath my skirt and his fingers penetrating me as he was kiss trying to kiss me and I was pulling away. The Biden campaign has said this absolutely did not happen. Reid's public account has evolved over time. Last year, she was among a handful of women who called out Biden for what they called inappropriate, though not sexual, touching. At the time, Reid describing Biden touching her on the shoulder or running his index finger up my neck during a meeting. NBC News has reached out to five people Reid said she told about the alleged assault, either at the time or since. Three former Senate staffers told NBC News they do not recall any such conversation with Reid. A fourth, who asked that her name be withheld, says Reid did tell her about it at the time. A fifth person, who also spoke with NBC but did not want her name used, recalled Reid telling her about inappropriate touching, but not an assault. Reid also says her mother called into Larry King Live in 1993 without identifying herself, talking about a daughter having a problem with an unnamed prominent politician. Her mother died in 2016. NBC cannot verify she was the caller. Earlier this week, Linda Lacasse, a former neighbor, recalled Reid telling her about an alleged assault several years after the alleged incident. What Lacasse texted us was consistent with what Reid had told us, but Lacasse has not responded to our calls to verify the account. Biden's allies, including several women he has considered as a potential running mate, are defending him and citing his record combating violence against women. And today, Nancy Pelosi. I do um, uh, support Joe Biden. I'm satisfied uh, with how he has uh, responded. The Trump campaign has seized on the accusation, although the president has been accused of sexual assault by multiple women. The president has denied their accounts and commented tonight. I think he should respond. You know, it's, uh, it could be false accusations. I know all about false accusations. I've been falsely charged numerous times. NBC News has asked Tara Reid for an interview. Vice President Biden will be answering the allegation for the first time tomorrow on Morning Joe on MSNBC. Team, subscribe for more of these type of videos.